Hey guys, Sri Lanka Sammy. I am here live with superstar Princess Jasmine. And we are in Pattaya. Haraya. Haraya. You have to say it right. Haraya. Pattaya. Pattaya. And we are at the lobster pot. Tonight we are having seafood waterside. So today is your first day, full day, mm -hmm. in Pattaya. And why, you're, why is it Pattaya? That's the way they say it. In Thai. So her first time in a Southeast Asian country. Last night at 3 a.m. she arrived. We went out to get something to eat and she's walking around and she sees something and she freaks out. And said, this is a <laughs> tropical country. There's like geckos. <laughs> geckos and things walking around on the streets at three o'clock in the morning. Anyway, so today we're going to take you on a little adventure party night. We're in Walking Street and we're going to be going to Insomnia Bar. I got a VIP table set up there. Uh, I actually met one of the managers at my club in Itaewon about five years ago, four years ago. He's no longer a manager there, but I ended up getting VIP here three years ago when I came. And now that I'm back, I use the same VIP card that I had and we're going back. We're going to party it up. We're going to have a good time. We're having seafood tonight. So we're getting some prawns and some, and we're doing the Chang. <laughs> we're doing the Chang tonight. Uh, and prawns and scallops. We're gonna do stick with something light. Uh, but she got a kilo of prawns. A kilo. Where are you gonna put it? And what did we do all day today? What did we do all day today? Chilled. No. Uh, In the shopping, morning. Shopping. shopping. The credit card burning a hole tonight. And what did you pick up? Where's your little new bag? Nice, cute little bag from Playboy and the Playboy earrings oh she's all decked out all decked out my little and the princess Stephanie and oh so here's the funniest thing funny story I'm like oh you know let's go around here and I said oh there's a what store um, um, uh, the first store was Playboy. Play, Playboy I said oh they have a Playboy store and you were like ah, we have to run over to the Playboy store and so she bought a whole bunch of stuff there. And then I said, I should really be careful about what I open my mouth with. And here comes the food. Look at this. There's the prawns. Look at those. Wow. Really good. With the Chang beer. Uh, she's setting up her picture. So anyway, we go to this. She, go, she went and bought some stuff there. And then I said, I should really be careful about opening my mouth. Because like if I said Victoria's Secrets, and she goes, where, where? And what had happened? We're walking down the elevator, and what did I say? And we see Victoria's Secret. I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> So she ended up buying some uh, underwear there, of course. Uh, so she's all decked out in all her new stuff today. So we're going to have a little bit of fun. The, the prawns are here. We're going to chow down on those. And then we're going to have some scallops. Be right back. Sri Lanka Sammy, living life. I'm out. Hey guys, Sri Lanka Sammy, and we are in the freezer inside at Walking Street. We are in the freezer. It is how cold? Minus 11. Minus 11. Jasmine's in no jacket, and barely wearing anything. We got the polar bear here. He's all nice and toasty warm. And it is cold in here. Cold. We gotta go back outside. This is too much and everything fogs up because it is way too, way too uh, cold in there. So we are at the VO2 bar in Pattaya. Oh, take a shot inside? Oh no, it's too, too cold in there. <laughs> Fireball shot, next time, next time. So, uh, one of the things that we saw on the street in Paraya is every, uh, my glasses are all fogged up, every five meters is a pop-up cannabis stand. And it was crazy. Yeah, it, it'll 
settle down in a little bit. It was crazy to see this. Now, I'm from Canada, so I have seen it and done it 35 years ago, but to see it public on the street, and we actually went into a store that had the cakes and cookies and everything baked into it, but like the pop-up ones, they have like the actual uh, plant, which is very interesting. Now, we're not gonna do it, we're not gonna try it, we were just, we were just looking because it was something that is unique I mean, you saw it in, in Holland, right? I've seen it in Canada, but not legal in Canada, because I left Canada before it became legal. So anyway, you guys got to come out and check out the amazing staff, the amazing drinks at VO2 or V2O? VO... V Lounge. V Lounge Pattaya. Great staff. They're all dressed really, really nice. They look amazing the drinks are great and it is cool hey guys sri lanka sammy got my tourist garb on and i'm just hanging out taya beach early morning decided to come down here Princess Jasmine is uh, resting, sleeping. Last night was pouring rain. So after our massage and manicure, pedicure, we had dinner uh, at uh, uh, Terminal 21 uh, a, a complex, which was amazing. But I wanna go back to talk about, and, and sorry. And then, uh, so, it was late night when we got back and it was pouring rain so we decided we were so tired <clears throat> from not, not really sleeping in the last couple of days to just take a rest last night because it was pouring rain today it's overcast but hot really nice so <clears throat> i thought i'd come out early and follow up on uh the video i sorry sorry i pressed the wrong button so i thought i'd do a follow-up on the video i did a couple days ago uh, about a night out. Now, I couldn't really take video. Well, I could, but I didn't really didn't want to. A lot of people don't like their videos taken on Walking Street. So, I'll just tell you what happened. Um, I mean, there's enough videos out there about um, Walking Street. I'm just going to tell you what happened. If you want to look, you can go look. We walked around and just, you know, we were tourists. We were looking around. We went into a marijuana shop to, to look at it. I haven't seen it in 35 years. Uh, so it was really cool to see it and see people doing it. And there's different kinds of stuff. There's like cookies, cakes, candies, and actual uh, 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 product. And we saw one guy, Thai guy, buy like bags and bags of it from this like dispensary. And then there's like pop-up stands all over the place of guys making it for people, for tourists and stuff. I would never do it, never liked it, wouldn't be interested in trying it unless I went to a, like a really, really, uh, professional looking place. Anyways, so we ended up uh, walking around Walking Street and just looking at all the fun Things that are happening there so wanted to check out she wanted to check out what a what a go-go bar was so we saw one that she liked and so we went inside and we sat down and I told her how it works not that I know but I mean I've seen enough videos to know how it works so I was explaining it to it so she says okay well let's just talk to one of them so called one that she liked over and we were talking with her uh, very nice girl Actually, she was 30 years old. Uh, and, you know, we were just having a fun time talking. Everyone thinks Jasmine is from Thailand, from Bangkok. And we're walking up and down Walking Street, and so many people stopped her and spoke in Thai to her, thinking she's Thai. It's hilarious uh, because she's so tall and...
sorry about that. I did it again. I took the case off my phone and I'm pressing the wrong button when I switch hands because uh, I, I broke my phone. The screen is not working. The camera is working and the, and the front screen is working on my fold. But the inside screens are not working. They're gone. So I bought a new phone here in Thailand and I'm using that. So anyway, at the end of end of the day there I said anyway I did <laughs> uh, at the end of the day we really did have a fun time just hanging out uh, experiencing all that there is to experience in uh, the entertainment area of, of walking street afterwards we <clears throat> ended up going to insomnia club which is a club that I am uh, a VIP member of I've been going there for about, I'm gonna say five years. One of the managers from there actually came to my club in Itaewon about six years ago. So I met him and uh, I got his name and phone number. So he said anytime that I was coming down here that he would host me at his place. So <clears throat> went there, had a super fun time they got us one of the best VIP tables there had a super super fun time I mean I, we were there till like three o'clock it was really a lot of oh wow look at this street some these are all hotels or really cheap hotels but anyway anyway we did end up having a lot of fun we met some super great people we were upstairs in the VIP Another thing happened is one of the club people that I know in Korea saw that I was at uh, Insomnia uh, on my Instagram and then texted one of the directors and that director found me, came upstairs and said hi to me and pointed out that, you know, this person had contacted them and said come and say hi and blah blah blah. So. Again, we had super taken care of because of who I was. <clears throat> you know, everywhere we went, security would escort her, uh, Jasmine, when she was walking around, escort me to the bathroom or what have you. When we were leaving, even the front door security knew who we were and, you know, were giving us the, the way, the, you know, being very respectful to us so it was a it was fun to be back in you know the club life it was fun I, I enjoyed it so oh I'm walking up at that and where do I end up I end up back at walking Street <laughs> just so to sort of wrap up that night I'm back here where it all started so that, that, that's the end of the story that I wanted to say. Uh, it was a fun time. I'm glad you guys are along for the ride, enjoying my time here. Sri Lanka Sammy, living life in Paraya, Thailand. I'm out.